Greetings all and welcome to Volpecular Media. This is my hardcore, genuine challenge book style Geralt build. In our inventory, we're going to use whatever the strongest available steel sword is at the time. So at the moment, that's the Toussaint Knight's steel sword. And we're going to use Erendite. Erendite is canon because of the Lady of the Lake. Any medium armor will do, uh, so long as it's light on chainmail, as that is uh, Geralt's preference in the books. Uh, light to medium armor is what he prefers. We don't have a crossbow equipped, but we'll keep one in our inventory for when it's absolutely necessary. The bombs that we use are not fire or light based, because uh, one of Vesemir's lessons about how that affects a witch's senses and judgement. We're using Swallow, Petri's Filter, Tawny Owl and Thunderbolt because this is a build that doesn't use decoctions due to the fact that they are sort of an invention of uh, CDPR and don't really find mention in the books. They use the term potions, elixirs and decoctions as a, a mix of things, but nothing as insanely powerful as decoctions appears on the alchemy side of the books. So that's the inventory. For the character build, the combat tree is where we find most of uh, our skill points and allocations going. So fast attacks and strong attacks, because whilst Geralt is a slim man, um, he is a witcher and stronger than most, so he's capable of both uh, extreme speed and strength. We've got the critical hit enhancers as well, the crushing and um, precise blows. We've got crippling strikes because when something's cut it bleeds. We have sunder armor because Geralt's clever enough to know where to hit armor for it to break. Arrow deflection because it is arguably the most uh, frequently referenced uh, witcher skill. We have counter-attack because that is uh, a big lesson that Geralt teaches Ciri in the book is uh, the value of a good counter-attack. And deadly precision because anybody swinging a sword has a chance of killing somebody straight away. And resolve because uh, it directly feeds into how Witcher mutations, um, how they affect uh, the reception of hormones such as adrenaline so you know the retention of adrenaline is something that a witcher should be feasibly ca uh, capable of we have delusion from the signs tree toward this is sort of based on Geralt towards the end of the books beginning the games so he's stopped using a lot of advanced signs and really only uses them when he has to but delusion helps him with his quest to find the lesser evil um, moving into alchemy, we've only got heightened tolerance because that is the primary effect of the uh, Trial of the Grasses, is leaving witches with a heightened immune system and the ability to withstand poisoning from their elixirs. And we've got four greater red mutagens. Now, one could argue for synergy. Um, as Geralt is mentioned in the books to have been more receptive to the trials and to have undergone additional experiments but we're taking it as it is we're taking it at face value that you know when we meet Geralt as a blank slate he's already got that inherent capability when we move on to mutations we're going with deadly counter so sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents immune to counter attacks and monsters in all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counter-attack immediately triggers a finisher. The reason that we're not going to any of the advanced mutations, although you can do that if that's your choice, because that's sort of where it, we break away from canon anyway. It's a whole new opportunity right there in the mutation system. But realistically, the direct reference from that quest simply says that when Jerome underwent these mutations, uh, the the um, 
in an attempt to right his mutations and erase them. They simply enhance them. And the most literal interpretation of that is that it just made him a stronger fighter with better reactions rather than, you know, being capable of freezing large swathes of people or getting hopped up on all manner of uh, toxicity elevating substances. So that's the build. I'll quickly show you the stats. So normally, because obviously armor perks may vary, this will come out above 3000 on your silver DPS and above 2500 on your steel DPS. Vitality is going to be around 6000. Um, Sign intensity sits at a flat 28. I'm currently uh, hopped up on Petri's filter, but I'll show you. That's a better idea, isn't it? There you go, so a flat 28. Um, and that's that, that's the build. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this, leave it a like. If you disliked it, tell me why. And uh, subscribe for more, because there's more on the way. Thanks.